Hello guys, uh, welcome in my YouTube channel. I am Rajdeep again here and uh, today I am going to show you something magical you can say. Yeah, uh, it's all about the home theater or DVD player or the Blu-ray system. Um, today that uh, the, the kind of stuff you know like it's very much expensive for repairing it cost you like hundred dollar two hundred dollar depend on the how expensive uh, device you using in India like it costs rupees thousand eight thousand sometimes more than ten thousand so this is ridiculous to spend behind a used uh, system but you love it and you want to use it again but you don't want to spend that much of money behind this so today I'm going to show you how to save money and enjoy the music or enjoy the things whatever you want so let's uh, go to the page but uh, before starting all this I request you everyone please share like and comments even if you have any question write to me I will try to answer you on the right way if I don't know about it I will tell you I don't know I'm sorry but I definitely reply you so please 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 share like and comments so let's take a look as you see in that here is all the DVD players home theaters and all this so the topic is related on it how to repair or reuse your home theater 5.1 or 2.1 or 5.2 by using a big trick a small trick or smart things in India it's called like uh, jugar you know smart work so it's whatever which brand it is I don't uh, there is no point like maybe it is your Sony home theater or blue repair or Samsung or Panasonic LG Denon Yamaha boss or whatever it is the problem is the basic you know like cancer cancer is a cancer if it is on the human being or in the animal being but it is cancer the treatment will be the same almost same so let's take a look what kind of errors uh, we face when the running system suddenly stop working the very common and very popular errors on the first the display display screen on your DVD player or it is a home theater okay it's showing welcome and nothing else on the screen is like just welcome and you keep waiting so okay so now what welcome remote control not working none of the uh, button working dvd player not working not ejecting or not opening not close anything welcome it is really a very big and serious problem then please wait same category third is once you put your uh, cd player on it and it keeps showing reading nothing working else really but once you change the option like uh, it's audio video working then USB working your FM working if you have a Bluetooth that's working but that particular once you put your CD or DVD on it it is not working so in that case I'm telling you you are very very much safe because either it's a problem on your CD or DVD or else it's a problem on your DVD player or the CD player basically um, Fifty percent, fifty percent cases. Uh, if you use a lens cleaner disc or a lens cleaner, you know, for cleaning the lens. So once you clean that lens, it start working. But if there is a problem, like if the lens is faulty, then it is non-repairable. You need to buy another uh, lens or a DVD player, and you can use it again. But you can run the system particular that 
DVD player. Except the DVD player, you can run the system. The fourth issue, many of our users, whoever it is, a uh, Denon user or uh, Sony or Panasonic, Samsung, the face like it is working, 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 and suddenly it's showing welcome. Then uh, Sony DVD player or Samsung DVD player, and after end of that, it's coming protector. So system is protected. That is also a related. That the problem on the system is related to the. Uh, my point one and point two issues but here you can see there is a cross mark and the green tick so it's mean the cross is you forget about it your system is gone but green means it can work for just uh, doing a little bit steps at home or else you can repair it and restart which is very cheapest cheap I mean you spend a very less amount for repair it and you can use it so protector one of them where you can say it's gone or okay I can do it at home just like this and the fifth is no power supply once you plug in you know there is a supply and everything but in the display it's nothing coming nothing is working the system is basically uh, if I'm just telling you uh, if you turn on the power and display is not coming see the back of the system there is a processor fan if the fan is not working then no power the power supply is not uh, come on your power supply unit I'm going in further I'll, I'll show you next by uh, step by step on the next so the power supply unit have a problem okay so these five things biggest issue is one point number one point number two and point number four this is a very expensive and almost impossible so let's uh, go to the problem see uh, where is problem generally we face on a blu-ray player dvd player or home theater whatever it is i just tell you one thing maybe you know you uh, many guys knows about it and many of us don't know about it what is 5.1 and what is 2.1 simple 5.1 means five speaker one over 2.1 means two speaker one over okay so welcome please wait protector or any of such issues so speakers or the subwoofers or the woofers 100% they are fine they have they don't have any such problem to showing that type of error so just forget about that always thinking that 99.99% the speaker is perfect so I'm not going to talk about the speakers I'm just going to tell you the part of the problem the two days uh, like from 2012 13 to till now those were makers like Sony Samsung LG those were the makers of this type of uh, blu-ray player DVD player CD player or the home theater system the in inside of that uh, DVD player or the inside of the player is same there is a four part one it's uh, called a panel that the front panel where you can see that uh, messages like home then audio then USB so the display unit here here it is this is a display unit or display panel second is power supply unit power supply unit is uh, this one this is the power supply unit it's a very common all the system have the similar uh, power supply unit similar not the same but similar you can see this one all this stuff third is the amplifier or the sound board this is the amplifier so most of the system have the similar looks of amplifier you can see this building type of things and if you uh, 
capacitor, transistor and the point, the speaker point. Some of them have a clip system, you know, outside the cabinet. It's a, you have a naked uh, cable on from the speaker, just need to put in. There is a spring loaded uh, pin, just push it and leave it, it's locked. And some of them have a jack, jack system. And the last and final one, it's called a motherboard or PCB, which is very, very, very dangerous thing. So most of the issues, especially the point uh, one, two, and the four, these issues just come from here, motherboard or PCB. Sorry, I'm new here, so I'm um, just trying to record. So motherboard or PCB. How this motherboard look like and how do you know that this is the motherboard, this is the culprit one or the PCB? All the motherboard is look similar like this. Yes, this is the processor. Main part for if you have a Sony uh, home theater, you see this, the processor is a Sony. Basically, it's a... You know what is processor all the programs is here if it is a samsung it's showing samsung the brand name is here always and this is a culprit this part and uh, most of the time uh, i'm telling you in short like if you want to re repair this faulty uh, motherboard the you know where is the fault generally happens the faults found here in this capacitor this is called a uh, aluminium electrolysis capacitor so this get damaged and you can see any uh, sign from the outside in case of it is a blow off and all uh, generally it is not because uh, this uh, capacitor this this board particularly this board getting only 12 to 16 volt supply or 20 volt maximum supply here so it's not a generally blow off, but uh, these things get uh, damaged and it's not able to give a proper supply here and then the thing is damaged. The processor can read and it's showing please wait or welcome and just keep quiet. I can't see here, read my brain like that. So this is the thing one, the most important thing. So now I'm telling you a short thing, like how it's connected. Well, uh, generally, uh, most of the DVD players or Blu-ray home theater players have a USB connector on the front of the panel here, somewhere up or downside. So one cable. First, let's start from here. Power supply straight away come 220, 244 come here on the power supply. Is distribute distribute here from here. It goes to your one power supply from here to go to your audio audio panel and once goes to your motherboard okay and from the motherboard one cable one power supply goes to amplifier which transfer generally mostly the audio and video signal from because see this is this all is a connector audio and video connector so it's a input from the TV it's come here then from here here is a sound supply cable it goes to here connected so the sound comes here power from the power that uh, amplifier power getting power from the main board and two connectors from here once uh, the display power it's connected here in this panel motherboard and USB also connected here in the motherboard so this particular four things always you found inside the dvd or the blu-ray player but i'm telling you something before i go to the next page this is very important like few of systems few of the devices especially uh, those making like before 2012 or 2013 or even 2014 some of the company they slowly slowly upgraded so 
if some of the system uh, made their motherboard which is us uh, you know like there is a three input one is a power supply one is a panel and the audio and the motherboard is together so on that particular case motherboard and the amplifier audio uh, amplifier is together you can't do anything buddy i'm sorry either you need to spend a big money for the repair or the replacement or i always suggest go and buy a new set because uh, if this part is damaged especially out of outside the india like in if you go to the if you talk about the singapore if you talk about the us uk canada uh, all these uh, countries they don't do the repairing job much even nowadays in india they are not even doing that much job because it's take a time so you can pay that much of money so they believe to replace it uh, but uh, in india yes uh, nowadays uh, obviously uh, it's a, it's a cheap country you know like you will get uh, many things like a lot of population people doing a lot of things a lot of works a lot of job they doing in a, all this work in a cheap way take time and and they did it but there is no guarantee even in thailand too so if your board is common with your amplifier and the pcb is common one in in a single board then i i suggest you just throw it and buy a new one but if it is a separate then come with me on the next page okay this is the motherboard uh if you face one two and number four problem then the problem is definitely definitely here this part have a problem okay and you feel it's this process are getting hot like hot means a real hot so it's a very common signal the part is damaged from this location and uh, this motherboard always comes with a internet uh, connector jack hdmi audio video input and infrared that's a red ir light i something it's called so this thing next the audio amplifier this is see here is a separated the so most of the dvd player have a separate port this is a separate and the fun or the good news is here it's a separated and this is a power supply unit okay and i i told you this is a panel so now okay now have a look here this is a very uh, common pattern is a sample unit like once you remove your dvd player you see this part is inside power supply unit amplifier motherboard or the video board and a dvd machine okay and behind this video board the outside of the panel you found this usb lan audio in audio out video in video out and this optical digital out that one i called you that i i or or laser light is called a uh, optical digital out so if that board have a problem this part will not work this one totally don't stop and the display comes please tell it protected welcome and nothing even your remote control not work there so where is the fun so basically we need to understand like well uh before start that i have to tell you why you are it is because of expensive it's a repairing cost expensive right but actually it is not because of its expensive it's because you are upset because oh i miss to listening my music i love the voice i love the sound from my speaker I love it but I can't listen anymore this one is not working my god and 
I want to repair it, but it's too expensive. Like, yes, it is very expensive. Just for an example, um, just imagine you, you spent $400 for a Blu-ray DVD player, 5.1. Even, even I'm telling you, I have one, it's a Sony DDG E490 model, which cost me $400, just after 12 months, it was on the 13th month, I turn on, after 12 months it's working well, on the 13th month, the warranty finish, I turn on, and it's completely wet. And there is nothing after that. I went to the service center and they told me, Sir, it's 8,000 rupees cost for repairing, and we replace this video board or the motherboard. And it's non repairable. What I spent eight uh, $400, and you told me I need to spend $150 for repair cost just after one year. They said, yes, sir, we can't do anything. I said, okay, I take that system back and leave it in my home for two years, two and a half years. And then I visit again, and they cost me the same. They told me the same rate, no dis uh, discount, nothing, same rate. But I miss the sound. I badly miss that sound. I don't want to throw it because sometimes I feel I have to throw it, you know. But when I think... Oh, the speaker is awesome. I don't want to throw it. I, I want to, I somehow I want to run this system somehow. But every single place give me the same rate. Expect when I visit my local repair center, they said I can fix it in half an hour, but uh, seventy dollars. I said what? He said yes. Just pay seventy dollar. I will fix it with 200% guarantee that will work but how long there is a no guarantee I said okay so it means there is a chance something something fishy you know like something going wrong with this world and then as I, I personally start researching about these things I'm not I'm, I'm frankly can I tell you guys I'm not a technician I'm not an electrician but yes I can give you a guarantee I can repair it because I spent a lot of time behind it, I research a lot and I know it's a very 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 simple thing how to play with it. So let's come to the point how you do it. Basically a speaker what we need for you know for gives a proper sound for gives you a good sound or his own sound he needs his partner means amplifier. So, if there is a 5.1 speaker you have with your damaged uh, home theater system, so there is the life still alive for the speaker, the amplifier. This part is still alive. This part can give the same sound for your speaker. So, take this out from your device. Now the next point, how this part get the supply, very simple, the power supply unit still alive, take that power supply unit from the system, so you get your power supply unit, you have your amplifier and you have your speaker, so speaker so the power supply gives the supply to your amplifier. Amplifier gives the source to connect with back, connect with himself to the speakers. Now what do you need? The sound. From where you get the sound? You need a device. You need something for play so the speaker can start singing. So what you what you need? What exactly you need? You need a very simple thing, a uh, USB port who can supply the sound. So if you go to the market, any electronics market, you will get it easily. 
it's a very small board and nowadays it's come with bluetooth wi-fi uh, pen drive and all just buy one board and your job done your 90 percent job done if you are a if you have a little bit of knowledge about connections or if you are smart enough to play the trick then you can do it by yourself or you can buy this stuff go to any electrical shop those who are working this motherboard and all or those who are making uh, you know the local home theaters visit them they will do that for you in just like one day or two days and it's not cost in india it's not cost more than 1000 rupees or 1200 rupees in the us or other countries it's charged maximum 20 to 50 dollar maximum 20 to 50 dollar so once you get all this you can use your pen drive or you can use your phone connect with the system with the bluetooth and you can play the music and you will get it's the same 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 sound quality sound quality will never ever change because you're using the same amplifier which comes with your speaker so you need your speakers you need your amplifiers you need the power supply you need and you just need to buy a new device that is a usb chip board and which is cost you know what like in india it cost like 100 to 150 rupees or 200 rupees max in uh, other country like us uk australia all this it's not more than 10 to 20 dollars so you will get it like 70 dollars 60 dollars it's done or if you're in india uh, it's very cheap you just need to spend thousand rupees so you'll get everything your job totally done in just in thousand rupees So one more time I am going to repeat how the connecting you need to remove this part the PCB power supply sorry not PCB power supply unit you need to remove this amplifier and you have the speaker and you need to buy this so once these three things connected and it's ready to go and one more thing yes you can connect this device directly to your tv by audio video jack so you will get the same sound like before from the television to your speaker even if you don't want to install this board on your uh, system don't do it use the power supply you need use the amplifier connect together by the electrician technician and then there you can uh, use your television audio video cable to connect on this system and then you can use your pen drive on the television you can enjoy the same home theater sound that 5.1 sound nothing else it's a very simple trick i suggest you do not go to any service center for repairing or replacing that board because it is fucking very 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 expensive very very expensive even after the death there's no guarantee it's uh, how long it will work so why you spend that much of money with you just need the sound if you want to listen in music take this suggestion i'm sure you save uh, 400 or 300 dollars 7000 rupees you can save it easily and one more thing uh, those does not have any problem such that okay just just uh, watching my video so I have some suggestion for them that is best way to protect your system from those type of errors number one this is very 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 important Actually, I faced this problem and uh, none of the service center, authorized service center, either is Sony, Samsung, 
Denon, Panasonic, anyone. They never uh, ever tell you that the problem appears just because of the firmware upgrade. Because most of the most of this most of the time the problem comes just after upgrading the firmware. I face the same problem. One of my friends face the same problem. I don't know what kind of firmware they use. Maybe the programming have some problems, you know, and the firmware is corrupted. And that I told you that Sony uh, processor, that like you know like uh, what kind of programming it is, and then it's stop working. So never update firmware, never and ever. Is it red highlighted? Never and ever upgrade firmware on your DVD or a television. Number two, try to keep your device warm and dry place, not a moisture place. Use lens cleaner disc for cleaning your DVD or CD player lens. So you don't need to put your hand inside or remove the things out. Just put a disc, you run it, take it out. That keeps your DVD player, you know, working. Put cover for protect of the dust. So once you cover your Blu-ray system, so dust cannot go inside this DVD player lens and that will be uh, perfect. And one more important thing is unplug your system during typhoon or thunderstorm because if somehow the back power comes, you know, heavy power comes in your home, that's effect on the power supply unit of your system. Maybe you will get some burning smell and it stopped working so much. It is not only for the DVD player and I suggest all your electrical devices will disconnect it on, on the unit. Like just disconnect and unplug. Third, sixth, use proper power supply like 120 means 120, 220 means 220. Never gone up and down. And then another thing, try to use a software free USB pen drive, thumb drive of the thing. USB drive means just imagine that you have a pen drive inside that there is some software setup as well as some video, some song. Try to avoid that. Sometimes these kind of softwares, you know, irritate the system uh, far more software. So there is a chances. I'm not telling you 100%, but 10%, there is a chances. So that's all. I know it's took a long time, but uh, I think I very important thing that like I want to save your money, and because I save my money, this is that that, that this is the way I did it, and it is perfectly working. So I I feel like what kind of business is ongoing. I my money is hard working money, and I don't want to spend that much of money for the things. You know, like Sony or Panasonic or the big companies, they can repair that motherboard like this, like one minute, they can fix it. They have all the parts there, but they don't want to do that because that is a business. If they sell the motherboard, they earn, they sell you like $400, but they earn $350 or more. And they get that damage part also, so they can replace, reuse the stuff then why we cannot use the reuse why they only do the reuse and earning money so we can we cannot earn money but we can save money and we can reuse so this is my point don't spend money in the name of servicing from the authorized service center yes if you want to repair it i can suggest go to a local person they charge you low amount they can repair it and they also earn money but this big company already have money and they are playing games and never ever remember never ever upgrade firmware this is also a big game something they send you corrupt firmware they never agree with you but they send you corrupt firmware and just because of that corrupt firmware your system stop working and then you have to face the same thing you have to go to go there and then spend money and get a new one this is a business so thank you thank you uh, watching my video and please please share like and comments thank you uh, don't be like this stay happy cheers